NVIDIA has literally, well, is going to change the gaming I industry. And this is going to be pretty much overnight. Especially, now, I know I promised there was going to be, you know, AI on this channel. But this is 100% related to gaming. And that is the thing I really, really want you to understand. Please like the video because I am planning on having bigger guests on this podcast. Gaming guests larger than life creators such as Tim the Tatman, Nick Merckx, Cloaksy, e even larger. The more views, the more likes, the more comments that this podcast gets, the bigger the guests will get. Thank you very much for liking the video and enjoy the rest of the podcast. AI is going to be implemented in video games. Now, whether it be now or in five years or 10 years or 20, I can assure you the AI that they in that they integrate now is going to be a lot stupider than the AI that they integrate in five or 10 years. AI is learning very quickly. Like ChatGPT three to four was like almost a thousand, uh, yeah, a thousand times smarter. I'm pretty sure it's something along those lines. The IQ went from like five to like 160. So it was a big jump. Okay. That's the thing I really want you to understand. AI is here to stay, and AI is going to be in vi video games. And this is going to impact the way that we play vi video games on a daily basis, whether you like it or not. I do also want to point out, quick side note, that is a new camera. Okay? That right there. New camera. Tell me what you think about it. Alright? It's, you know, compared to the back one. I'm going to probably end up getting a new one because I, f I definitely noticed, and this is not straight. This looks like if I'm going to move this over a little bit. A little bit like that. Right there. Perfect. Um, this camera is a little bit blurry. Um, this camera is a little bit blurry. And then this camera looks pretty crisp. Um, so I'm probably going to buy more ones like this. Or maybe even buy like a 4K or something. And see how it goes. But uh, this is just like a web camera. It's one of the newer ones. Sadly, this is a 1080p camera. And it's still pretty blurry, but it's definitely better than the back one, even though that's my phone. Like, but I think it's because it's connected to Wi-Fi. That's the reason why it looks so bad. But, again, trying to improve your experience for this podcast with every episode. So, you know, at the end of the day, you're welcome. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, no, I really am trying to improve the podcast. So, I'm probably going to get, like, maybe two or three more. Maybe two. Possibly two. To maybe even just use this one and then replace maybe like the two side ones. Like this one is this one right here is replacing the um the side one that I used to use that was down here. So I, I also like a I also like the perspective better from up here. It looks a little bit nicer versus like if it's you know down at the bottom, it just looks silly. So yeah, and that's kind of like the same thing here. Like this this camera right here, if it'll show up. This camera is actually like pretty much eye level with with me, which I kind of like it to be better off top like that. And it's gonna there's gonna probably be one here too, and I'll probably put one over there, and we'll we'll kind of get this set up nice and sexy for for everyone. And then eventually we'll start doing some uh, some 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 interviews, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to interview you know people, different gamers and game you know game developers possibly, but mostly just probably other ga gamers. Definitely other content creators, you know, pe people that you may watch. Um, so just, you know, drop a like for that. That's definitely gonna, gonna be coming soon. Anyway, back to NVIDIA. Um, well, I mean, NVIDIA, their stock rose like, but you know what? Let's go, let's let's do this. Let, let me go on, um, let me go on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys this video too. Why are you playing? Stop playing. Um, I'm going to show you guys this video, and I want to show you the Google, is it, it's not trends, what is it? Stocks? I think it's Google Stocks. No. What is it called? God, am I, what, what is it called? Finance. Google Finance? That's what it is. Um... NVIDIA, NVIDIA, NVDA is ticker symbol. So I want you to keep in mind right now, right? Like I could probably do five years, probably easier to say. Um, this was a huge jump overnight. 
Like I, I looked at my, I, I looked at my Robinhood app, and it jumped from like two hundred bucks to like over four hundred dollars. It was, it was, it's at its peak right now. Is at four twenty six. So a little bit of finance advice: if you're trying to invest in this right now, don't do that. Just don't. It's, I would probably, I probably wouldn't do it. I mean, five hundred six, eight, eight and eighty percent. Like even, you know. 59%. What is this? What would this go up by? 242%. That's crazy. Um, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Not financial advice, but just, I, I would probably wait. I mean, this, the, the time to invest in this was like March tw 24th of this year. Um, or even April of this year, even possibly May. But now see, now is a little, little bit of a bad idea. This is like, it's also not. It's also not a bull run. Sorry, I'm getting into finance. A anyway, because of this announcement, because of the announcement of the AI taking over gaming, like the NPCs having their own conversational dialogue, um, Nvidia jumped like over sixty percent, like overnight. It that is a god on strength right right there. So for investors, that's great. But for the gamers, what does that really mean for us, right? Um, at the end of the day, it's going to mean that we're going to get a better game as far as the better a better feeling so that you can actually communicate effectively with NPCs instead of it being like Skyrim where they're just T-posing through walls. At least I hope so. That may happen too, just FYI. Like the the NPCs AI probably won't be able to actually predict that. There might be some glitches like 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 that which still still be funny. But Skyrim I think was probably one of the worst games for the T-posing and the going through walls and like, you know, stomping and and like humping doors and shit it was weird so um keep that in mind play non-playable characters are going to be you know very very well spoken and it's they're probably even going to be speaking m more well i was about to say more more well they're going to be speaking better than we are probably in a couple years so i would just be careful what you, what you, what you say to them that's not <laughs> yeah that's terminator talking right there um, so let's kind of, let's jump into this video. I kind of want to show it and then kind of talk about it, but this is pretty crazy. So, um, Nvidia, uh, it's, um, every time I press a, a thing, it like skips around. So Nvidia ace for games, spark life into virtual characters with generative a AI. Now, I also don't know if this is just going to be them or if it's going to be like We're different games that's going to have this feature right so player kai and a non -playable character yeah kai and jin jin's the non-playable character is the n is the npc jin is the playable character but look at these graphics too isn't that is that insane video inception partner to showcase how developers will soon be able to use nvidia riva nemo and audio to face for ai powered speech conversation and animation these models were integrated into the Convey Services platform. Look, look at the detail in this in, in this in this little to bring gin to this life. little bar. Please Isn't that look. nuts? I mean, a AI is definitely gonna take us that take us into this kind of era now too of like way detailed games, better optimized games. Again, may not may not be in the next four or five years, five, ten, ten, ten years, but this is this is gonna get crazy. Now let's watch this. Hey, Jen. How are you? Unfortunately, not so good. How come? I am worried about the crime around here. It's gotten bad lately. My ramen shop got... You also know what I... You know what I also didn't realize? No. You're... The guy's you talking on the bottom left here. I have on the bottom left here. You see that? Crime Lord watch the IAP watch the microphone go off. causing all sorts of chaos in the city. He may be the root of this violence. I'll talk to him. That is a person talking the to the NPC. The fight clubs on the Just city. FYI. Try there. Okay, I'll go. Be careful, Kai. That's insane. I thought it was like... I thought it was pre-selected, like, dialogue. I mean, it probably technically is, because, like, they probably are giving the dude that's playing... You know the the selective di dialogue, but like that's that is that is insane, right? That's kind of crazy when when you think about it. That's kind of crazy, right? No, stop it. 
So, you are... You're essentially talking to a an AI that's talking back to you. Now, I know that a lot of you don't really care or even want to understand this, but this is huge. We've like we've actually come I'm, I'm going to be honest with, with, with you. We we actually used to have and if some people some people that watch this may that watch this podcast may not even remember this, but we used to have characters that didn't talk at all. Like, the main character didn't say one fucking word, right? And the beauty of it was that, like, the character wouldn't talk, but the but the, the NPCs would talk to you, like, predetermined stuff, right? Then it got to the point where, like, they were making fun of people not talking, they were making fun of that. Like the, like the actual developers were making fun of the character not speaking in, in a game. And then we got to the point where the characters actually started speaking in the games, which was probably like seven, eight, I would say probably five to seven years ago. Again, I also played a lot of shoot, shoot, shooters and characters talking like first person shooters really wasn't that common. Like it was like, I feel like, I feel like they thought it was like maybe like a waste of you know, time to make dialogue for a character that you're just like you're the one that's talking like in not to the characters in the game, but like you're just talking out loud. So I feel like that's kind of what they were thinking about that. But now, like we're we're going into the era of you. Well, actually, I should say actually, there's one step that I'm missing. Now, the era that we were just probably like a year or two ago. Is something like um, those horror, those horror survival games, where there's there's games now, especially like in VR too, where if you spoke, they could hear you, and then you could get caught. Right now, we're getting to the point where the NPCs are talking back to us. So now, imagine playing an alien game or something along those lines, where like you're just communicating with aliens in like some kind of alien language, or even again, maybe it's just English because you know it's easier that that way. But now, imagine like playing a game where like you're you know you're 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 speaking to an alien, or like you're speaking just in general, and you're like, "Fuck, this game sucks," and the alien's like, "Whoa, dude, relax," you know, like, or something like I don't know. I'm just be, it would be, it would be <laughs> I'm I'm excited for this, as you can see. Like it, it's this is going to add a whole new element to gaming in general. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be something where we're gonna be able to enjoy every moment that we can and be able to create new memories each time we play. Like the the game will probably never play the same, especially with the NPCs. Like you know, like there's always a predetermined path where you can go on, you can become like you know the bad guy, or you can become like you know the um the good guy, or you can go in between. You can kind of help the bad guys and help the good guys and be like like a moral person. Like, that was more of, like, a Far Cry or, like, a Dying Light thing. But, like, imagine you being able to play a game once and then the whole entire game changing, like, based off of, like, one or two decisions. I think there is a game that's made that way. I just don't remember the name of it. But imagine you being able to do that and then you, like, play a game once. Like, you'll never be able to play a game the same unless you make the exact same decisions throughout the entire game and say the exact same thing, which is going to be almost impossible. Like that's where we're heading. Like we're we're heading towards gaming being more of like a world than it than it is an actual game. This could cause problems, right? Like people could get engulfed in it and like completely forget about the whole like the real world, which might be an issue, or or it may not be. Like I I'm actually I actually made a vi- I made a video on this. I it's probably gonna come out way after this podcast episode, but uh, a little bit of a. Uh, insider for you guys that have watched this far right let's let's switch cam- let's switch cam- cam- cameras so xqc got signed i don't know if you've seen that for a hundred million dollars joe rogan got signed for 200 million on spotify joe rogan has been doing his podcast i'm pretty sure longer than xqc has been streaming i could be wrong about that but either way joe rogan Interviews people for a living. XQC plays video games for for a living. He got a hundred million dollars. Now, 
It's not $200 million, but $100 million less, still $100 million is a lot of money to stream on Kick. Now, I don't know if that's going to be if that's going to be like Mixer with with Ninja, I don't know. I I hope it's not. I hope I kind of hope that Kick kind of comes in and either gives Twitch a run for its money so that Twitch actually has to change their algorithms and change every, everything up and change their, you know, their work culture and and and, and everything and, and I hope that that does happen. But um I hope it's not like Mixer. I, I really don't. I really hope that that's not like like Mixer. But it's also not an exclusive contract e either. So because Ninja signed an exclusive contract with with Mixer, so it's like. But XQC did not do that. XQC signed a uh, a non exclusive contract, so he can stream wherever the hell he wants, and he's getting paid a hundred million dollars. It's like eighty million for like you know the streaming part, and then it's like another twenty for like incentives and bonuses. Yeah, who gives a shit? It's a hundred million dollars when when you boil it down, right? So, to me, I think that that's insane that a streamer, a guy that just plays video games all day, gets that kind of like. I mean, Joe Rogan was making like millions. Like, he, no, no, Joe Rogan was had had millions upon millions of views on his podcast for like an hour to three hours to four to five hours long right like xqc i wonder how much i actually might take a look here let's let's see if we can find something x uh let's go on twitch let's see let's see if we can find xqc's like view count like viewer count you know let's see let's see is, is he i actually don't even i i'm gonna be honest i don't watch xqc what do you mean? Is this is this XQC? No, this isn't him. You know what? Hold on a second. Let's let's. It seems like Twitch. You can't even find XQC on fucking Twitch. <laughs> Former I internet personality. All right, let's see. This is, this is his actual Twitch. So he has 11.8 million followers. And he's got 105,000 views. 88K. 959K. 83K. 516K. So he's got, he's got a decent amount of views. But my point is that Joe Rogan, like, on YouTube, was, was getting well over, you know, like... A million views per episode at like well over that and then the clips were getting like two to five if not even more it's crazy i mean even the clips now that he has running on there are getting like five to ten million like his channel had like i think almost i think they were i think it was approaching a hundred billion views but then he had to get rid of all of his stuff because he signed exclusively with spotify which is also another thing too joe rogan signed exclusively with spotify xqc did not sign exclusively with kick so that's a crazy thing to think about it really is and, um, like that, that is, that is going to be an insane, just in general, an insane thing to think about. But like, now you got this, right? So like off that topic, right? Off of the XQC topic and the Joe Rogan topic, like games are going to become more interactive. They're going to become more favorable to not only streamers and influencers, but it's also going to become more favorable to regular pl players too. So you being able to play like a multiplayer game with NPCs is going to be is going to start to just build upon each other. It's, it's going to be an, an insane experience. Like you're not even going to know if you're talking to a person or an NPC after a certain point, and then that's going to be like the real immersive effect. Like and you know maybe VR will be maybe bigger hopefully with the maybe with the not hopefully with maybe with the Apple Vision Pro maybe more people will be you know creating something along those lines so that everyone can kind of connect kind of like in the metaverse but like being able to watch like a streamer do his thing in, in a game like maybe you could just be a spectator in the game versus like watching it on like a screen like you like you're seeing me now you know that's that's kind of the crazy thing that I'm thinking might actually happen. And it might it might give a, a like an almost like a fourth I, don't, I want to say fourth dimension but that's not really that's maybe not right a fourth dimension feel to the actual feel, the actual gaming experience 
not only from a gaming experience, but from a gamer spectator experience. So all gamers watching like Tim the Tatman may actually be able to like be in the game in like a free form floating, you know, spectating thing in a Warzone match versus like me having to watch it, watch his screen on a computer. Like the, like the, the possibilities are endless from what this technology is going to bring into the gaming world, right? So that's what I really want everyone to understand from this podcast is that this is not, you're not just limited to like, now you're just going to watch it on a screen or you're going to watch somebody else's screen on, on a screen. Like you may even be able to just put on a headset and just go straight into the game and watch them, you know, or like that might be like a VIP access for like the first five or 10 years of, of the technology. And then all of a sudden now you're getting into like something crazier, which might, you know, which might be, um, you know, maybe, maybe now that that'll be the standard after after like another fifteen years or whatever, and then all of a sudden now you're like in the game. Everyone's in the game with Tim the Tatman, or, or even in like a pro tor tournament. Like you can follow on somebody's gun. You know, in like the um, the actual character in in the game's gun, kind of like what what they did for the uh, the spectating on um, the helmet cam. I, I I think it's called in um, in war in Warzone, right? So just think about this the amount of applications that we're looking at here as far as this just this nvidia thing again i also am doing a lot of of, of assuming there could be this technology could just suck in the next five or ten years i doubt it because again from what we've seen so far as far as a ai like things are changing drastically and they're changing fast so i think that gaming and game development is definitely going to be a knockout out of the park in the next 10, 10, 10 years. And if you're not using AI, if you're not like trying to like understand it, like trust me, your games will probably change without you, without you even know, know, knowing it. Like they may, you, the, you will know it. You'll know that your game is, your game has changed. I can guarantee you when you go to play it and like you say something in game and then the NPC reacts to what you say. So if you're like racist and the NPC is like, dude, why? Why would you say that? You know, or like if you say something really mean to somebody, it's like, dude, that's not nice. Or maybe, maybe they may even clap back at you at this point. Like, what if what if you get clapped back by by an, by an NPC in the game? Imagine you just imagine you're sitting there and you're like, this guy sucks. He's he's so bad at the game. And then all of a sudden the NPC is like, yeah, well, you know what, your 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 mother's fat or something. I don't know, just some something outlandish that like claps back at you. And you, what the hell are you gonna do? Are you gonna get off the game and cry? Or are you gonna talk shit to, to to the NPC? That's that's another thing too. Where how are they gonna learn? Where where is their learning? Co are are they gonna learn from us? Because that's not good. So we, they tested that out on Twitter, and Twitter is pretty much like an Xbox call or like. In general, <laughs> Twitter is like. <laughs> it's hard for me to say because it's so funny. Twitter is like a Call of Duty lobby. Twitter is like a Call of Duty lobby. That's what it is. It really is. And it's like they did that, right? They they tried that out on a AI that like all of a sudden was like the Nazis were, were right. Like that was like one of the tweets that 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 it that it tweeted. So I would, if, if they're learning from us and trying and clapping back from us, like I can guarantee you there's going to be some racist AI out there and it's not going to be good. <laughs> Even if you sign the term, you know, the, the, uh, terms, the agreement terms for, you know, not cursing, not being racist in, in war zone. There's plenty of people that say the N word that I see on TikTok every day and they, they're not getting banned. So they don't reinforce that shit. Or maybe they, may, maybe they'll make an AI that will re reinforce it. Who knows? I don't know, man. This see, this is this is where it gets nuts. The possibilities le legitimately are are endless. Like you can make an AI that actually does like that look goes through like your chat logs, vo voice chat logs, and then like bans you for shit. Like like imagine you get like a ten you get like ten strikes and you're banned for like a month because you because you said the n word like sixty times. Imagine that shit. That that would be insane. Imagine like imagine you get banned for a day because 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 you said the f word six, six times in one game. So when there was like a six year old in there. I mean, granted, a six year old shouldn't be playing Call of Duty, but that's not the point. Uh, I don't think any of their I don't think any Call of Duty's ever been rated T for teen or like anything. Well, I mean, obviously, a six year old isn't a teen, duh. But at the end of the day, like, you know, their moms their moms and dads would be buying them that shit. So it's like, you know, 
How is that my fault? So I don't know. I, I'm I'm thinking I, I'm thinking that the possibilities are endless, and what we're going to see here is something that is a huge shift in the gaming experience in general, and not only that, but also like just just like the um, not like the gaming experience, but like the the gameplay experience is going to be different, right? It's gonna it's gonna shift dr drastically. There there again, this is something where I talked about with the off the grid po podcast, which was also which which was on Sunday of last week the the the, the <laughs> like a, a, ai could also be changing like the map like the 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 actual playable gaming area could be changing with ai like it could add like trees it could add brush it could add a different building it could add the same building copy and paste it like there's do there's a bunch of different stuff that ai could do in, in our games that one we may not even no notice it unless somebody says something right but like, I bet you didn't know that like your you li literally like your phone has AI in it. Like when it when it, the face the face ID that's AI. In case you're wondering, any filter on like t on TikTok or like Instagram or Snapchat that's AI. It's all AI. That's how it gets. That's how it stays on your face so well. It's just AI. So AI is integrated into your everyday life. Now it's like now we need to now they're gonna start implementing it in games, and I don't even know half of the ways that they're probably gonna do it. I'm guessing right now, there could be even deeper applications for, for for this kind of stuff that we we don't we we won't even know until they say something to us. You know what I mean? Like that like that bot I just talked about that like bans you for 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 cursing. I mean, a lot of us are in trouble. Let's be honest. If, if there's a, if there's a curse banning bot, like we're screwed, right? Especially if we're a Call of Duty player. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. All right, I'm going to end it at, at, at that. Thank you very much for watching. Drop a like before you go. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you've watched the podcast this far. As always, game on.